Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor. As such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. Look, the best fight history has happened here. And on that night, Conor 
McGregor etched his name in stone. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Head kick attempt, gets blocked. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looping left hand misses the target. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Just over three minutes to go. Right hand upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 26 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. A oh, little single collar tie there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Spinning elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Just misses there with the left. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Fournier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Or a ball of this. Big kick land. Leading from his cheek now. Back and forth we go. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Ooh, what a head kick. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That kick blocked by Connor. Right hand upstairs. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Blocks the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big kick lands. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by McGregor. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. 
If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Nice punch here. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now. It is defensive because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. That was a nice strike. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, and there's that Pat that was right left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Went for the inside leg kick. Watch the shot. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, as we call on the unofficial numbers, 88 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And just below 50% landing at a 46% clip tonight against Conor McGregor. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice punch lands over the top. Head kick. Oh, there's that switch kick. Oh! Oh, diving punch lands. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount. And now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Pru has got to like that transition there. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Boy, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position 
which is the ground, and he would be able to finally finish by submission tonight. He did just that.